If you had no past and the rules of this world no longer applied, what would you create? Welcome to Creating Beyond Reality, where your business is your life, your life is your business, and you are the valuable product. The world is changing, my friends, and ease, joy, and glory are available more than ever before. My name is Heather Nichols, and I am so happy you're here. Okay, so welcome to Creating Beyond Reality, and we are here today. We've just made an amazing paper plane cocktail, bourbon, amaro, Aperol, and lemon juice, and I'm sipping it, and it's yummy. <laughs> and we're going to be playing today with the topic of changing your money story. Changing your money story. Wow, I have so many things I want to share about this topic. Um, it's a big one for people and it's one where there are a million tools and if you really use the tools and you be the tools and you live the tools, you can actually really, really, really change your money story. Um, and it's also a choice um, that you, uh, you know, that it's a choice that you need to make sort of diligently, like again and again and again to have a different story with money. Because the thing is, and this is where we'll begin, is that our point of view creates our reality. And we hear this all the time in Access Consciousness, your point of view creates your reality. Um, it does. It does. Like how you see the world, how you see money, how you see work, how you see, you know, how hard you think you have to work in order to create money. It's all these underlying points of view that we have that are running the show that we don't necessarily know are running the show, but they are. And they are creating, it's sort of like projecting um, your life onto the, onto like a screen. And what shows up is what you project, which is money is hard. There isn't enough. Money has to come from this, this, and this, and this area. Um, I have to do this and this and this to create money. I'll never have it, blah, 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 blah. You know, or it's, or if I have it, it means people will want it. Or I, you know, there's all these different things about money and how, um, and just these points of view that we don't even know we have that we take on and we carry around with us, um, unbeknownst to ourselves, um, from our parents, from our culture and changing the story that you have with money really is, um, it is just simply about making a different choice and doing that repeatedly over and over and over. And as we do, we begin to expand what it is that we're being, who it is that we're being, what we're willing to be. And I'll tell you, well, you know, we can sort of like skip ahead to the end. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now that money actually, we change our money story by changing what, by basically being willing to be more. And when you be more, you receive more. And when you receive more, you have more money included in your life. Now, a lot of you guys who have played with the tools of access consciousness, you've probably heard that a million times and you're probably like, okay, great. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Tell me something I don't know. Um, so everything that brings up, can we destroy it and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, puck, putt, shirts, boys, man. So that's, if you don't know what the hell I just said, that's the access consciousness clearing statement. And, um, it's basically like a magic wand that just deletes everything and um, allows our lives to be easier. And if you don't, you don't have to know what it is or how it works, you just use it and it works. Um, and if you want to know more about it, you can go to the clearingstatement.com. So anyway, <laughs> so what is this whole business about being? Um, the thing is, is that, is that we, well, let me back up a little bit and say there's, so there's a tool in access called the interesting point of view. And it's one of the 10 keys to freedom. And, um, Dane here, who's one of the creators of access has been talking a lot about this lately. Um, and a lot of people have actually started using it a lot more now. And Gary Douglas, the founder of access has been talking about it for <laughs> 30 years and, um, and being it really, and really inviting us to actually be it. Because the thing is, is that when you have a point of view about anything, it's like you put up these barriers around you so that you can't perceive possibilities. And the thing about creating money is that you actually, um, you actually, it, it's way easier than we think it is. And what happens is a lot of times 
we have this point of view that it is hard because that's how it's showing up in our lives. But then we keep projecting that and then it keeps being hard and then we keep thinking it's hard and all that. Um, but there's a whole other universe of creation, the creation of money and wealth that is not even related to the one that most of us have been playing in. And that's what I want to invite you to all of us today. Um, I've had so much awareness about this in my own life lately and like really been seeing where I stop myself, where I slow myself down, where I am like go to computation. Like, can I afford something? Can I not afford it? not actually following the energy of what's going to contribute to my life and what's going to create the greatest. And the thing is, is so we have a, I'm all over the place. So just <laughs> good luck following me. <laughs> I should probably drink some more. <laughs> um, one of the, one of the tools that we have, there's a million money tools and access and they all actually really work. And, um, I've used these tools again and again and again, um, in my business from the joy of business and in my, you know, my money world, um, I, to, I like, once I started using them, I literally started like doubling my income and then doubling it again and doubling it again and creating this really amazing growth of income over the first like five or so years that I was using the tools and still like it's, it's growing. And so it's, amazing how this stuff works. And the thing is you can create growth in your income that's beyond this reality. But what what is what does that mean? It just means that isn't most people think you can't create a level of growth in your income that most people think you can't create. Um but the thing is is that you can't do it through the rules and the regulations and the lies and this reality about money and how it works and how you have to be with it and the linearity of it and all that. Because the thing is, is a lot of those conversations are based on this need for security. And I, I put up a post the other day about how, um, when you, how, you know, what if financial security was actually about your confidence and your capacity to create. And ultimately that's the only thing that creates financial security because, you know, we can, we can have like a lot of money in the stock market or we can have a lot of cash or we could have a lot of real estate or, you know, you could have a lot of different you could have a diverse portfolio and you could have, you know, real estate and stocks and cash and gold and, you know, different types of currencies and, you know, all different kinds of investments. Um, but the thing is, is that it's all, and I'm not saying don't do that because definitely invest your money, but it, what happens is it, it's all part of this reality. And so when you buy into that, you negate this whole world of you and what you know and what you be and the awareness that you have that could actually use everything that's included in this reality, use all of the tools and the investments and the systems and the banking and all that, use it to create with, but actually also bring like allow your awareness to be the lead in how you create money and what you do with it and how you use it. And when you do that is that's when things really start to flourish and explode and expand financially. But the thing is, is that most of us are not willing to do that because we think we have to have certain, like we have to have money in the bank. We have to have, you know, a retirement fund. We have to have all these things like stockpiles of cash or whatever it is, whatever you've decided that you, you think you have to have to have financial security that actually is probably keeping you from creating the money that is possible for you to create because money has a consciousness. It wants to be used. It wants to be, you know, be used for the creation of things. And when we create, um, when we create with money and we create greater futures with it and greater consciousness with it, then it expands our future and it expands everything that's available to us. And all of a sudden you have a different reality like tomorrow. And, and, one of the most dynamic ways to create more consciousness on the planet, to create more joy in your life, to create more money in your life, to create more growth in your business is actually to expand consciousness, to expand the possibilities that are available on the planet and to actually really be engaged in that with the creation of your life. Now that's something that a lot of people are really interested in. Um, but, but there's a certain degree to which, um, we stop ourselves 
when you know you bump up against those moments where you're like, but I don't have the money, but the cash flow isn't there. And in those moments, we slam on the brakes, we slow ourselves down, and we slow down the money flows that are available to us. And it is in the moments in my life when I look back on kind of the ebbs and flows of, of money for me, it is in the moments where I continue to move at a pace that is fast, that is non-computational, that is not of the mind, that actually like really doesn't involve my mind at all, um, but that actually goes by the energy of things. When I'm moving like that is when money is flowing into my life with ease because I'm not stopping myself. I'm not putting on the brakes. I'm not going into fear. Um, one of my favorite quotes from Gary Douglas is that, is that worry about money is a violence against the future. It's a violence against the future because guess what, guys? If we begin to see the future as full of possibilities and the now as well, that's a whole other conversation. How does the future relate to now? But um, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> that's not really a podcast kind of a conversation. Um, but if we, if we see the future as brimming with possibilities and we realize that we can actually choose that now... Um, and we do, we are being the stewards of possibilities. We are being the stewards of a future. We are being the stewards of the planet and something greater for all of us. And guess what that includes? That actually includes money. It includes you having money. So the creation of money and the changing of our money story is far less linear than we think it is. And so anywhere that you've bought it, you have to do X, Y, and Z to change your money story, it's going to be hard. It's going to take a long time, blah, blah, blah. We destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pop, pop, shirts, boys and beyonds. Because the changing of your money story is an inside job. It is an inside job. It is an inside job. It is an inside job. It's about going from creating in this reality to jumping tracks to a reality of possibilities, jumping tracks to what you know, to trusting you, to having um, vulnerability with you, allowance of you, the inclusion of your awareness and everything that you do and you choose, um, really trusting yourself, having gratitude for you and honoring you. And when you're willing to function from that and know what you know and be interesting point of view, which allows you to have more awareness, then what, we can, what becomes available to us as a choice grows and grows and grows. When you have the judgments and the points of view and the computations about money and how it works and how it flows and how it can't and you can't and or not enough or whatever, you're literally like the points of views are like barriers to money. They are literally like walls that you're erecting around you constantly that are where you're putting up barriers to money coming into your world and to the possibilities that you could be choosing that could have money attached to them. Um, because a lot of times the choice for something that's going to create money doesn't look like it would in this reality. And this is where going from this reality of, I must get a job, I must have a business, I must get the clients, I must blah, 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 to create money, that actually is such a diminishment of you, such a diminishment of your awareness. And what happens is we get so cranky and grumpy when we're functioning from that space because it's not true. And, you know, we say in access that what's true for you will make you feel lighter and what's a lie for you will make you feel heavy. And so if you're constantly functioning in this, this reality's version of what is required with money, what you need to do, what you can't do, what you can do, what you must do, what you should never do then you are telling yourself a lie over and over and over and over and over and over and over about money. Well, guess what you're doing? You're diminishing your money flows. You're stopping money from coming into your life. You're stopping possibilities from coming into your life. And there's a whole universe of creation and receiving and being and actualization and trust of you that you are foregoing by the lies that you're telling yourself, oftentimes unbeknownst to us, really, about money. So everything that is times a godzillion, <laughs> can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pop, pop, shirts, boys, man. Let's all have a drink to that. <laughs> so, 
Um, so, so how do you jump tracks, you know? And this is where that gosh darn conversation about choice comes in. Um, most people don't like this, the C word. It's the big bad C word. Um, but truly, it is just a choice. And this is something I get more and more of all the time where I, I'm like, wow, choice is really not something that I do. It's something that I be. It's something that where I go, okay, I'll have that, 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 I'll have that. And that's, that's kind of all that choice is in a way, you know, it is just actually like saying yes or no, you know, to whatever's going to create something greater for you. And, but it's when, when money's involved with choice, we go into the computation, we go into the math, the figuring it out, you know, and then what happens is it's like slamming the brakes on the tr the high speed train that's elegantly cruising through the French countryside, you know, um, beautifully gliding, you know, and all of a sudden, er, you know, and then it takes a long time to get it moving again, you know, and so what would it be like if you were to actually move as fast as you actually are to choose as dynamically as you actually can um, to, to just keep moving and moving and moving? Um, not stopping to doubt you, not stopping to compute, not stopping to think about it, not stopping to figure it out, but actually going, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go and I'm going to go again. I'm going to go again and 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 again. Everything that doesn't allow that, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, shirts, boys, and beyonds. Um, this is really good. <laughs> As usual, I really wish I could just give you a sip. <laughs> I'm always like, I want to just right here in the camera, here you go, take a sip. <laughs> um, but it's actually, you know, these ingredients are fairly um, common. Um, you know, you can find bourbon, Amaro, and Aperol pretty much anywhere. So, and some lemon juice and some tea. That's all you need. So, I'm trying to go for ingredients that are easy to get everywhere in the world, not just, you know, in my, <laughs> at my local liquor store. <laughs> and sometimes I'll still do that because there's just fun stuff. I love creating with it, you know. So, anyway, <laughs> back to money. Back to the serious business of money. Um, you know, I... When I look at some of the choices that I've made in my life with money that were just so crazy, according to this reality, where people would like, you know, people that were really functioning from like this reality um, would be like, you're crazy, you're insane, you're irresponsible with money, you know, but I actually have a time when I, when I am willing to trust me and go, you know what? I know this is going to create something greater. I'm going to use my money for it. No matter how it shows up, no matter what I have to do to create it, you know, no matter what I have to, you know, use my money. Like, you know, if I had, oh, I was going to use this money for something else, but now I'm using it for this. It's like, I don't, when I don't go into the computation of it and I keep going and going and going, that's when money flows into my life really quickly. And when I'm stopping and hitting the brakes on is when I slow it down. And so a huge part of this, like I said, is the choice and the willingness to be, the willingness to trust you and the willingness to know what you know. And here's the thing, what it is that you know is beyond this reality. It's not going to be something that you're going to see in the world. Nobody's going to come and pat you on the shoulder and validate you and go, yes, yes, you're correct. This is going to create more money for you. This is going to create more possibilities for you. Um, nobody's going to do that. You have to trust you. And that is simply a choice and only a choice. It's not something that you can fabricate. It's not something that you can clear your way to. You know, we talk, uh, we, we have these amazing clearings in access consciousness and um, they don't actually, they're, they're amazing. They're phenomenal. They can like just, clear so many unconscious things that we have going on in our worlds, but really it's secondary. It is uh, clearing is the tool that you use when you don't feel like you have choice choice. If you function primarily from choice, 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 yes, 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 no, yes, 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 no, 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 yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, 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 yes, no. If you function from that, 
you don't need clearing because what happens is you basically facilitate yourself into a different reality like that with your choices. And you can do that with money. You can facilitate, facilitate yourself into a different financial reality with your choices. But you have to stop making money choices from the point of view that you are poor, that you don't have it. Or maybe you don't have the point of view that you're poor, but that it's lacking in some way. Or maybe you're making your money choices from what your dad would have done or what your mom would have done. Um, so it's like, look at, you know, what a, a really awesome question to ask is who am I being? Um, so who are you being with money? You know, ask yourself that. Who are you being with money? And you might get, oh my God, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandfather, grandmother, everybody in the world, my children, my unborn children, my children from another lifetime, you know, like <laughs> you might get like a lot of people and it's not really relevant who it is. I mean, sometimes it can help to go, oh, ding, I'm being my dad again, you know, or being my mom again, or being, you know, my neighbor again or whatever. Um, but it's really just the recognition. Yeah, Vicky, exactly. It's the recognition that you're being as Vicky so eloquently says everyone, but me <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and how do you get over that? You choose, you choose, you're not gonna, I mean, maybe you could clear your way out of that in, in a decade, maybe, but, but how do you get out of being everybody else with money? You stop and you choose to be you with money. And you may not know what that is. You may not know at all how you would function with money if you were truly being you, but guess what? Here's another amazing tool. Ask a question. If I were truly being me with money, what would I choose? And, or, you know, one of the 10 keys um, to freedom, which is, would an infinite being truly choose this? Would an infinite being ever lack money? Would an infinite being have poverty? Would an infinite being not choose whatever it is that they would like to choose simply because they would like to choose it? No. And what happens is a lot of times we tend to, we, we, we like to, we like to, you know, um, we like to fuck with ourselves <laughs> um, and make it really hard so that we fit into everybody else's reality. And this is a huge one with money is that we, we really try to fit into everybody else's reality. Um, yes, if I was truly being me with money, what would I choose? Um, we try to fit in with everybody else's reality to not be so different. I mean, one of the big things I will say, this is a bit of a jump, but... Um, is you have to be willing to make people uncomfortable with the amount of money that you have if you're going to have money. There will be people that will be so uncomfortable with the wealth that you have if you create wealth, um, and it's all relative, you know, but there will be people that will want to stop you, that will want you to slow down, and even if they are people that have a lot of money, um, that doesn't mean that they want you to have a lot of money, and it doesn't mean that they would be okay if you outcreated them financially. And the thing is, is a lot, I mean, the, the, the sort of travesty, you know, in a way, not to be dramatic, but um, is that so many of us have so much brilliant awareness of how to create money and how to create a greater future that we don't trust because we're constantly trying to see ourselves through um, everybody else. Maru, am I going to repeat this video? Well, it will be available for you to watch again when it's over. And we also post it on my, it's a podcast. We post it on my podcast page um, on my website, heathernichols.com. So you can go there. It'll be up probably tomorrow. It'll be there as an audio and you can download it. You can listen to it as many times as you want. Um, and the video will be here as well. Um, so you, so where was I? So, so people will, people will really, um, they, they will like when you, cause what happens in any area of our lives is when we start to be greater, create more, you know, whether it's you create some beautiful, amazing change with your body, or you have a really lovely relationship or you start to create more money. People around you are going to get uncomfortable because they like you to be exactly, they like you to stay exactly where they want you to be so that you can just stay right there. Um, and not upset the apple cart, you know, not, not, you know, shake the tree. 
um, not make them uncomfortable. We, we are like players in each other's realities and, and we, we fill this role and, and it's like you are a player in the realities of other people around you and you, you literally play a role that allows them to stay the same. It allows them to maintain the status quo of their lives and not bump up against the discomfort of what they're not choosing because a lot of people are really not psyched about what they're not choosing. They don't even like the conversation of choice. They won't even recognize it as something that's valid because they don't want to have that much power to actually just choose to change something. And especially with money. I mean, like who the fuck are you to say that somebody could just change their financial situation by choosing it, right? You're born into it. You're either lucky or you're not lucky. You're either smart or you're not smart. All these things, right? No, it is actually just a choice. Vicky says, I've noticed. <laughs> I love it. Cheers. That's where alcohol comes in. <laughs> alcohol is a very wonderful thing when people want you to stop. <laughs> when you're stopping yourself too. Allowance juice, this stuff. It's good. Um, as you know, if you're, if you're drinking it in, in a way that actually just creates more joy in your world, then that's awesome. You know, if you're drinking it to check out, then you know, you can do that too. Um, it's a different choice, but what would you be willing to be so powerful as to actually just simply be able to change your money situation through choice, through choice. And the thing about victimhood and being a victim to poverty or not having enough or, or even maybe you have a lot of money and it's a pain in your ass. You know, there's a lot of people who have a lot of money and they fucking hate it because people want the, it. They're always people are always asking them for it. People are always wanting to charge them double. I mean, this happens all the time. But the thing is, is if you're willing to say no, and you're willing to not be the player in other people's realities, and you're willing to have the reality that's true for you, and be you with money, then that's not going to matter. You know, it, it you it somebody wants to stop you. Somebody wants you to slow down. Somebody wants you to take care of their reality you can or not. It is simply a choice at that point. And it's just all an interesting point of view and you can keep creating. And when you, when you start creating a lot of money, it's like you are you like, you can keep going. You can keep turning it up and turning it up and turning it up. Um, and, or not, you know, like I went through a phase where I was like turning it up, turning it up, turning it up more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And then I sort of set myself on cruise control for a while. Um, because I don't know why I just, well, I do know I, I was, there was a lot of things going on in my world. There were a lot of things I wasn't willing to be, which is another conversation I started to have. We may or may not get there. Um, but also, um, it was, I, I was, there were people that were not happy about what I was creating. And so, and it's, I didn't, it wasn't a conscious thing. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to stop now because people are too uncomfortable, but I did. And, you know, I changed it. I chose to change it and I changed it. Um, I'm choosing that one and then again and again. And what would it take for me to be kind with me when I am not choosing that Ruth? Exactly. Well, you, you know, being interesting point of view, of view is always a choice always available to you, always available to you, always available to you. And it's not about giving lip service to the words and just saying it. It's actually going, you know what? Hold on a second. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. They have this point of view and allowing it to create space in your world. Cause that tool is mega and it will create an immense amount of space in your world if you allow it. And then guess what happens when you do that? It's like what happens when you be interesting point of view and you allow it to work is the walls that you've put up that are all the judgments and the points of view, they melt. They just, it's delicious dynamite. I love that roof. That's so awesome. It is the walls melt. And they melt some more and they melt some more and they crumble and they dissolve. And guess what is available after that? What's available after that is, wow, I have choices that I didn't know I had. 
there are energies available to me that I didn't know were available. There are things that I can be and do and choose right now that I didn't know. That is where the treasure trove is. That's where it, that's where it exists. The treasure trove of awareness and consciousness that is you. And guess what? If you function from that, if you begin to know that and trust you, and even when people think you're fucking crazy, um, yes, the question, now what? Exactly, Veronica. Um, if you function from that and you have your own back and you've, you're like right here with you going, you know what? Go girl, go boy, you know, whatever, whatever, <laughs> however you call yourself, right? Um, you got this, you know, and this may not look like what you think it's going to look like. It may not look like what anybody else would say is a smart choice, but you know what? Fuck yes. Do it. Fuck yes. And I'm telling you, I've been, I've been facilitating the shit out of myself with that lately. Um, also, you know, playing with this question that Veronica posted, now what? We're doing some energy pulls on that right now, which has been really cool. But just literally, like, I don't have reference points. I don't have objectives. I don't have, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, there's no past. And the future is what I create. So now what? If I would actually like to create a greater future, a greater possibility... Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? And I have just been cliff jumping for the fucking fun of it. <laughs> um, and, and like, re but it has such a different energy. And this is where, see if I can kind of, mm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to really dive into this, but, um, there's a difference between, let's give it a little go. There's a difference between um, like using your money in a way that's destructive, that feels like it's generative, where you're just like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm going to spend money. I'm going to spend money. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And we have this tool. If I buy you, will you make me money? Okay. So let me just give you an example. This is like a really frivolous example, but it was really, I changed my whole world yesterday with this. Um, is, you know, I, when I buy, okay, so how often do I use, I probably use this tool like 75% of the time when I'm using my money. So I don't use it all the time. And what would it take? Um, but cause I don't, I'm like, oh, I don't really do it with groceries and stuff like that, but it'd be good to do it with everything. But if I'm going to buy like a piece of clothing, let's say I would ask it, you know, if I buy you, will you make me money? And a lot of times it's like, yeah, that's late, you know? Okay, cool. And it doesn't mean you're going to turn around and sell it and you're going to sell it for more money. It's not a linear thing. It's like, will this thing contribute wealth into my world, right? Will it contribute an energy of wealth? Okay. So, um, yes, Vicki, if I would like to have a greater future, if I would like to have greater possibilities, now what, now what, now what? Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, my rings. I know. Actually, you know, this ring is, is a great example. This, this is an emerald ring. It's, um, I think it's seven carats. It's, it's large. <laughs> it's six or seven carats, the emerald. Um, and this is actually, so thanks for saying that Ruth, because this is actually, and I wear it all the time. This isn't like a special occasion ring. I wear it all the time. And I put this ring on my finger. So let's just cut to the chase. We'll talk about the ring. I put this ring on my finger for shits and giggles. I was at a, um, antique guild jewelry show years ago. I've had it for years. Um, and, it, and I was like, Oh, well, let's just, let's just try this on. And, you know, just for fun to put it on my finger and see what it looks like. And I put it on my finger and I went, Oh fuck. <laughs> and the ring was like, hi, I'm yours. And I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> I had nowhere near this the money that I needed to, to buy this ring, or maybe I might have actually had it in my 10% account, my, which is a story for another time, if you don't know what that is. But, um, I, anyway, I wasn't going to use that. So I was like, shit, I have to buy this thing. And I did. And I put it on a payment plan and I, you know, I was, I it took me maybe a year and a half, a little over a year, year and a half to buy it. Um, and I just kept paying on it and stuff and I, and then it was mine. 
and it's mine and I love it and it's been such a huge contribution and the thing is is it actually this has this contributes an energy of wealth to my life that is has been such a gift such a gift to me such a like this was a this was a game changer for me um, and that's the thing is like, there are these things where we know, and you know, this is not money in the bank. I mean, you know, but in this reality, people would say, you know, you should like the smart thing to do is be to put that money in the stock market or to put it in real estate or to put it in the bank, you know, but this every day for me is like, whoa, I love this thing so much. It's so beautiful. It contributes. Yeah, it does. It, it loves contributing to me and it does contribute so much to me from the moment that I put it on. I was like, oh shit, you know, and I literally went, oh fuck, you know, and this has happened to me a bunch of times with this ring too. Um, this, and I bought this when I, I bought some pearls earrings that go with it and a huge strand of pearls all at the same time. And it was like, fuck, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to buy this now. Um, but the thing is, is that, and I didn't, you know, I didn't, if I had gone to the computation, I wouldn't have done it. Um, and there are things where I've gone to the computation and I've stuck. Cause here's what, this is the thing guys, this is where it gets totally nonlinear is when you go to the computation, you stop the money flow. So saying yes to this was like, sure, let's create it. And I started creating more money in my life I started creating more money. And it wasn't like, Oh, the ring and blah. It was just, I said yes to a reality of wealth. I said yes to a reality of having, I said yes to a reality of prosperity and abundance. And, and it contributed to me the same with my house. I mean, there's, I could tell you a million stories. The crystal that I bought yesterday, I came home and I was like, so freaking happy. I was like, just giddy happy and I like cleaned my whole house and my son even cleaned his room because hell we got a bunch of crystal now you know um can you get it going again the money flow with more questions well yeah and choice you know and the willingness to go you know what I'm not stopping for anybody I'm not pausing for anybody I'm going to choose shit that I don't think I could choose that other people don't think they could choose and you know what I'm going to fucking choose it and I don't know how it's going to show up. I don't know how I'm going to create it, but I'm going to choose it because I can't tell you how many times I see people go, well, I can't do that because I don't have the money or I can't like, I can't take your class. I really want to, but I don't have the money. And it's like, you know what? If you really want to do something, you will. I mean, I didn't have the money for this, but I created it. And, and you know, like so many things I, I didn't like when I, wanted to buy a house. I asked Gary Douglas at a class, the founder of access. I was like, I want to buy a house as if it was a problem. And he was like, we'll do it. And I was like, but I don't have the money. And he just said to me, stop pretending like you don't have money. And it was this amazing moment in my life where I went, wow, I'm telling myself a story. And that story is playing out in my life exactly as I'm telling the story. So what is the story that I would actually like to tell myself? And what if it wasn't a story? What if it was a reality that I actually chose to create? And, you know, when I started Access Consciousness, I was a single mom of babies. Um, I had a very tiny income. I was probably making, I don't know if I was making any money. I was probably making like less than a thousand dollars a month. I mean, really tiny income. Um, and my ex-husband was supporting me at the time. You know, we were like freshly divorced and all of that. Um, so I had that, but I, I really wasn't, I didn't know that I could create the, the money that I've created and that I am creating and that I'm about to create. Um, I didn't know that I could. I didn't, I didn't really, I loved the idea of it. But what I did was I used the tools over and over and over and over and over again and over again and over again and more and more and more. And there were moments where it looked like, fuck, this isn't working. And there were moments that looked like this is never going to happen. And there were moments where it was like, holy shit, how the hell am I going to buy groceries? You know, um, but it kept moving. And that's the thing is when we decide something, I was, I look now at, the everything that I've gone through with this and it's like it was all in the works that's the thing you guys is the future that you are creating the future that you're asking for 
it's in the works right now. It's being created right now, but it's not necessarily visible, measurable, tangible. It's in the works. And you have to be so different as to acknowledge the energies that are there because before the money is in your bank account, it's energy before the ring is on the finger or that you live in the house or whatever. It's an energy. And if you don't acknowledge it, it doesn't exist. One of my favorite quotes from Dane here, what you don't acknowledge doesn't exist. So you truly do create your own reality. You truly create your own reality and with money and with everything else, with your body, with your relationships, with your business, it's truly something that you are creating and nurturing every day with the points of view that you have, the points of view that you're holding on to, the possibilities you're willing to have, the choices you're willing to make, the choices you're not willing to make, the questions you're not willing to ask, the questions you are willing to ask, the amount of letting go that you're willing to have, the, the speed with which you're willing to leap, it's all creating your future. And before you know it, your future is here. And here's a little fun little thing just to keep in mind is that when your future shows up, because <laughs> you start creating a future and then it starts to show up and you're still creating more of a future, but it's, it, there's this momentum that kind of gathers, you know? And when, you, when the future shows up, it's not going to look like you thought it would. And you might miss that what you've been asking for is actually here. You might miss it because guess what? We love to judge, you know? This is where interesting point of view comes in really dynamically. Um, and, um, and it's not about, you know, it's not about affirmations because affirmations are just words that you put together that have no energy behind them. None. You got to get behind what it is that you're doing and being. And this is where I'll go back to where I started, which is it's about being you guys It is about being because all of this, like you can pay lip service to these tools and you can be like, I'm choosing, you know, but you're not, you know, and you can be like, yes, I'm willing to be different. I'm willing to piss people off, but you may not be, it doesn't matter what you say. It matters what you choose and it matters what you be. And if there isn't any energy behind the choice or the affirmation or the whatever, then you're lying to yourself. And this is where you got to get real with you, get vulnerable with you, tell yourself the truth, trust you and leap and leap again and be like, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, but I guess I do too, because I guess I'm an infinite being and shit, maybe I do know more than I think I know, you know? And if you need, you know, inspiration, read the being you changing the world book. Cause that book is full of just, you know, a million tools and conversations and energies that you can be more of to have your own back and acknowledge you more and more and more. What I will say is that all of this comes down to you having intimacy with you. At the end of the day, you having intimacy with you, you having vulnerability with you, allowance of you, honoring of you, gratitude for you and trust for you. And if you don't have that, none of this stuff works. It, you cannot really create without the intimacy with you because what you have to choose in order to choose a different financial reality is a level of requires a level of courage and it requires a level of being different and it requires a level of willing to piss people off and upset them and all of that that most people don't have but if you've got your own back which is i would say that's what intimacy with you is if you've got your own back it's a totally different ball game completely different ball game and you can create a fucking anything, anything. So you are all invited to, I'm doing two things that are coming up that this is, this conversation is the very beginning of on Wednesday, we start a six month program called the generative business pods. I've been doing it for years. It's fucking phenomenal. It is absolutely life changing. And this time we are focusing on creating multiple revenue streams. So this is going to be a dive into the creation of money, 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 the being of money. And really what I created this program for is actually to give you a sense and a space of intimacy with you as this, like you as the source for creation and the being of the elements of creation, question, choice, possibility, and contribution, 
as that which will create your business. It's creation. It's, it's everything that we're talking about here. It's a six month deep dive into the embodiment of that, the embodiment of intimacy with you, choice, leap, 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 leap again, leap again, choose again, choose again, have again, have again, play again, play again, have your back, ask more questions than you think you can make more choices than you think you can go, 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 go. And it's this, it's this like, it's this cauldron of creation and the, the tools of, Oh my gosh, thank you, Ruth. Um, she just posted the link down there. Um, that is truly a beyond this reality creation intensive that every single person that I have seen do it has had their life completely change. And a lot of people that have done it have had their money flows change. And, um, they, we've never done one like very specifically on money before. Um, so this is about creating multiple revenue streams because eventually you create multiple revenue streams at first, and then eventually it becomes a flow of money that is uncontrollable. You don't know where it's going to come from, but you know, it's there because you be it. And that's the thing that's changing your money story in a very dynamic way is being money and being the elements of creation to such a degree that you don't think about where your money is coming from. You just know it's coming. You know, it's here. It's everywhere. You be it. There's no lack of it. There's no shortage of it. And that's what I'm really targeting to get to in these six months with, with those who are choosing it is actually a space of being money and a dynamic presence with creation in business and life, um, that you take with you and you will never have a money problem again because you actually can't have a money problem when you be money. <laughs> if you be money and you are willing to choose it and you have money as a choice, you will never have a money problem again. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so that starts on Wednesday and there are still spots available. Um, it includes, um, you know, all kinds of really cool things. We have group calls on different topics, private sessions with me, small group calls. You get very, very dynamically facilitated, um, in lots of different ways. And then it also includes all of my energy polls, um, including the ones that we're doing now, the now what energy polls. Um, and it also includes the art of having, which is another program that I'm doing that starts on the 27th of January. This is a hundred dollar WhatsApp group. Um, so if the business pods is not for you, um, this one is, is very easy to choose. It's a hundred dollars. Well, I would say they're both easy to choose, but that's, you know, go back and listen. If you, <laughs> if you need a review on that, um, but the art of having is going to be a 30 day WhatsApp group where we're doing five minute videos. I do a five minute video every day. It won't be longer than that. Cause I can't upload it to WhatsApp if it is. <laughs> and, um, we, you'll, so you'll get a tool every day and then a PDF that goes with it every day. Um, we have it in WhatsApp. We have it in Facebook. So you can do Facebook if you want. Um, the chat goes on in WhatsApp, but the videos are in both places. And this is really, um, an adventure into creating a reality of having money. So playing with the tools of access for having money. Are you creating a 10% account? What, like, what is the energy of having? Do you have the energy of having in your life? Are you being it for yourself? Um, and every day you'll get a little nugget of, um, something, you know, to, to play with a tool to play with where you can really deepen the having reality because when you're willing to have money is when money really starts to come into your world. Um, when you're willing to have it and you're willing to use it for the creation of a future money absolutely flows into your world. And, um, so, you know, what if both of these things could actually be a boom to your money flows, not an expense, but an actual boom to your money flows. Um, and the generative business pods includes the art of having. So that's part of it. Um, if you'd like to do both, they're already packaged together. So, um, you can go to, um, generative business pods.com or heathernichols.com slash business pods to sign up for the pods. 
Um, there's you can pay in one payment or you can pay monthly payments. Um, and like I said, we do have some spots left. I'm not sure how many, but a few. Um, and then the art of having is heathernichols.com slash having, and you can go there to play in that group if you want to do just that. Um, this is going to be a absolutely world rocking six months. I don't think I've ever been so excited about one of these business pods and that probably is the case every time because they get better and better and greater and greater. Um, I'm really, and one of the things for me that I love about the pods is it's, it's, it's a, it's an adventure for me too. I get to play with the energies that we're playing with and, um, it has already begun for me and it has been amazing. What is showing up is amazing. Um, and, um, the change that's available when we actually just relax into the being of money, the knowing that it is ours, the knowing that it is everywhere, the knowing that it is available, we be it, we have it. What you can create and what you can choose is phenomenal, truly phenomenal. And I, really would love to see a world where people like us, humanoids, crazy, amazing weirdos <laughs> like us, um, have money. And actually my big ask is what would it take for the majority of the wealth in the world to actually be in the hands of people like us? Because that is how we actually truly change the world is by having money to be able to do things like buy land and say, no, 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 Nobody touches this, you know, or create things like create different, you know, create ways to contribute to each other or, you know, just there's so many things you can do with money to expand consciousness on the planet. And I would like to, I would like for there to be a lot of us that have that possibility, really, truly, um, what would the world be like? And are you actually willing to be one of those people? Are you willing to be somebody who has money? and has wealth. And if you are, you're going to need to be willing to be different, choose different, do different and leap. So thank you so much, everybody for being here. I'm really grateful for all of you and, um, happy day, night, you know, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining. Please remember that you are far more phenomenal than you think you are. And, um, you are truly a gift to the world. And I thank you for being the gift that you be and for being part of these conversations that, you know, spread far and wide energetically and, um, create a lot of change. So thanks for you. Have a gorgeous night or day wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another epic conversation. I hope you have a most phenomenal week and I look forward to being with you again next time. To stay in the loop for future shows, make sure you like and follow our Creating Beyond Reality Facebook page, as well as sign up for our newsletter at heathernichols.com forward slash podcast. See you next time.